Okay, this is what I'm calling the float motor. And what it is, it's a lid floating in water with a magnet on the bottom here to hold the needle in the middle of the cup. In a really interesting way, there's a meniscus on the edge of the water that makes like a pond, like it's sitting in a pond, a cup. And then the rotor floats around in this cup of water and then is driven by an electromagnetic electromagnet and a reed switch with uh, all uh, the same pole facing out. And I've never done this before, I, um, where you're not using magnetism to float something, you're just using it like a boat, like a boat on water. You're floating it like a boat. But you're doing it in a really interesting way, holding the middle of the needle with a magnet, magnets down there on it. And then the lid acts like a little boat with the magnets on the edge of the lid. And then it just gets pushed around with that electromagnet and the reed switch driver. And it's, so there would be nothing to wear out on this. This would not wear out. Um, if I did this again, uh, or made a better one, I'd you'd use mineral oil or something like kerosene in there so that it didn't evaporate. Um, or you'd put it in a jar like a mason jar and seal it up and this, just have this suspended in a mason jar with a driver that drive, drove through the glass of the jar. And you'd have a very interesting uh, sealed brushless DC motor. So anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting that uh, you could float something on a cup of water and get that to work. And like I say, I'm calling it the float motor. This is the 7th of May, 2023. Thanks for watching.